What up guys, Kevin here with another episode of Take a Bite Pizza Reviews. This is where I take a bite of a pizza and I review it just like that other dude on YouTube. Except mine is, I don't know, I wouldn't say better, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, we're going back to Trader Joe's. I am two for two with Trader Joe's. I did the cheese pizza, then I did like the cheese pizza that was like a square. 9.2 and a 9.0. I loved it that much. Now we're doing Trader Giatos, Trader Joe's pizza brand, I guess. Pizza Palano with Italian sausage, uncured pepperoni, roasted peppers, and roasted onions. Uncured pepperoni, that's good, right? That's good. It sounds bad. I think I want things cured in life, but I think when it comes to pepperoni, that's a good thing. So, um, look at the pizza. One thing I got to give with Trader Joe's, when I, you just see this with like other brands, uh, frozen pizza brands where you take it out of the box and unwrap it and all the ingredients are shoved on one side and you gotta, you gotta fix it. You gotta fix it. Look wise, when I took this out, it was 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Now, the cheese has kind of congealed, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Look-wise, it actually looks like a regular frozen pizza, which is not a good thing. Last week, I did a regular frozen pizza, the One Bite, the other dude on YouTube, his frozen pizza brand. And though I thought it was good, it wasn't that great. I forgot what I scored it, but it tasted like a super processed frozen pizza, and I felt it the next day. The next day, I wanted to die. The next day, like, I try not to poop at work. Um, but I had to. <laughs> I had to. I just couldn't hold it. I'm like, I got to get this demon, super salty, frozen pizza out of me. Or I am going to die. And I had to poop at work and use uh, work toilet paper, which is not the best. It's not the best. It's the kind where you got to wipe, like... White brown, white brown, white brown, white brown, white brown. And you're like, holy crap, it's still brown. But I can't wipe anymore. I don't I won't I don't have any more cheek to wipe. It's so raw. So that was my life. Hopefully this won't do that. Though it kinda looks like it. But we'll see. I can't wait. I think I've stalled good enough here. Let's grab a slice here. So I try to get Usually I try to get a bunch of veggies. I don't eat veggies in real life on their own. So cheeseburger, pizza, whatever, you name it. I'll try to load up in veggies and eat that way. Counts, right? Um, kind of floppy. There's the undercarriage. Meh. I'm really not impressed. I think this is the least impressed I am of Trader Joe's pizza. But, you know, <laughs> there's not that many more brands left or pizzas left at Trader Joe's to choose from. So let's give it a shot. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so being a Trader Joe's pizza, it does have that, I feel like it's a Trader Joe's taste, just not excessively salty. It might have a lot of salt. Let me see here. So sodium, 620 times four. So what is that, like 24, 2,500? I think that's pretty good for a big pizza. For a big pizza. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. But it doesn't taste like super processed and salty. And it's starting to have that Trader Joe's taste throughout all these Trader Joe's pizzas that I'm having. That being said, I, I like it. I like that taste. I feel like it's not an expectation. Just, 
You know when um, it tastes like when you don't eat fast food and then you eat fast food and then the fast food tastes really, really salty. This tastes like just homemade, unsalted pizza. Where am I going with this? I, I got to score, right? <laughs> I got my eye on the Suns game and ooh, they're almost up by 20. I just did a video about 15 minutes ago, and they were down by 9, and now they're up by almost 20. So I'm in a better mood. Maybe that will affect the score of this pizza. But I didn't love it. I didn't love it. Now, I had to bake it at 450 degrees. This is the second Trader Joe's pizza. They wanted me to preheat it to 450. I got anxious, or <laughs> and I was like, screw it. Because after a while, I'm like, is it going to beep? Can my oven even get to 450? And I just threw it in there for an extra couple minutes. It seemed to bake right. Um, 8.2. 8.2. for Trader Joe's Pizza Parlano. Um, with all those stuff. Cured pep uncured pepperoni, I should say. Uncured pepperoni. Hopefully, it being uncured, I won't need a cure. So very cool. All right. I'm done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe next week. <laughs> I'm running out of Trader Joe's pizzas. Their section is like two, like two little bays side by side. Not that much. I go to like my local fries here. It's like the whole, like half of the whole frozen aisle is frozen pizzas. Trader Joe's, it's like bloop, bloop. <laughs> uh, maybe I should spread them out. All right. I'm done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.